Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya So how many have attended a Govardhan Puja festival before? Show your hands. How many? How many have seen a Vaishnava initiation ceremony before? Sure. Also many. But for those who do not know exactly what we're doing here, we'll give a short explanation. Mm. First, we were worshipping Sri Krishna as the lifter of the Govardhan hill. You can think right now in your mind how in India, in thousands of temples in India, and also in hundreds, if not thousands, of ISKCON temples around the world, uh, this ceremony is being observed right now. What this ceremony is commemorating is an incident which took place about 5,000 years ago. When Lord Krishna lifted a great mountain with his little finger of his left hand, when he was only seven years old and held it up for seven days, so that the residents of Vrindavan could take shelter there uh, to uh, be saved from a great rainfall which was sent by the demigod Indra. So Indra is the Vedic god of rain. He is very near today. <laughs> he may also try to do something. <laughs> we will pray to Krishna to hold him back until we finish. <laughs> so, uh, we worshipped the form of Krishna as you see there. It's a very nice form called Giriraj. And next to Giriraj is the Govardhan Hill itself. Now, this hill. Uh, can still be seen in India. In the holy uh, village of Vrindavan, which is where Krishna appeared 5,000 years ago. This Govardhan hill is one of the great holy places in India. Uh, this hill is actually a form of Krishna himself. So by worshipping this deity made of halava, 
of Gower Downhill, we are actually worshipping the Lord Himself. This is according to Lord Krishna's own instructions. At the end, we circumambulated the Govardhan Hill. So, pilgrims in India uh, who visit Vrindavan, they will uh, circumambulate the original Govardhan Hill, but this takes many hours. Mm-hmm. Some pilgrims circumambulate by making obeisances around Govardhan Hill. Mm-hmm. Some pilgrims circumambulate Govardhan Hill by carrying a basket of 108 Govardhan Shilas. Uh, this means stones from Govardhan, which are worshipable. And they pay one obeisance and they move one stone to an empty basket. Then they pay another obeisance and move the next stone. So in this way, they make 108 obeisances. And then they walk the distance of that obeisance, just the distance of their body, uh, two meters. And again, they pay 108 obeisances. So this type of circumambulation takes uh, many months. Mm-hmm. But we, just a few moments ago, we all circumambulated Govardhan Hill many, many times in just a few minutes. All of you are most fortunate. Because by circumambulating Govardhan Mountain, one becomes free of birth and death. Indeed, one attains pure love of Krishna. Mm. Govardhan Hill is a very a merciful form of Krishna. Uh, and he makes himself very available to his devotees. Uh, and bestows all their all his transcendental mercy upon them just for a little bit of service. Mm. So now you've all experienced the worship of Govardhan. Now we're going to have a Vaishnava initiation ceremony and fire sacrifice. These devotees that you see here will receive initiation either into the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra or into the chanting of the Gayatri mantra. Mm-hmm. So this ceremony means that they are taking the process of bhakti yoga very seriously. Mm-hmm. They are vowing to follow four regulative principles for the rest of their life. No meat eating, no illicit sex, no gambling, no intoxication, 
да ни едат месо, да не играят хазарт, да ни приемат интосиканти и да не водят извънбрачен сексуален живот. And those who are taking first initiation are vowing to chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day 1728 times. Тези, които приемат първо посвещение, обещават да повтарят Хари Кришна Мантра 1721 пъти. И осен. This is on Japa Mala beads for chanting. Това е на зърната на Japa Mala, която е за повтаряне на тази мантра. And those who are receiving second initiation are actually being introduced into Uh, a transcendental relationship with Lord Krishna, transcendental relationship of direct worship. With this initiation, they will be able to worship the deity and cook for him. Чрез това посвещение те могат да обожават божествата в храма и да готват за тях. And enlighten others on the deity's behalf by preaching. И да вълдушвяват другите от името на божествата, проповядват. These are the activities of the brahmanas. Това са дейностите на брамана. Брамана means one who knows Brahman, one who knows the Absolute Truth. So the Absolute Truth is Krishna. Ishwara Parama Krishna. He is the Supreme Lord. Sat Chittananda Vigraha. In His form is eternal, full of knowledge and full of bliss. And each one, every living entity, Not only the human beings here, but the trees that are also here, <laughs> and the birds in the trees, all living entities, are also Brahman, they're also spirit. And as spirit, they are meant to serve Krishna eternally. But in this world, most of the living entities are sleeping. Like this tree. The tree is sleeping. He doesn't know that he is eternal spirit. He thinks life is just meant for eating. Trees eat through their roots. То си мисли, че живота е предназначен просто да се храни и то дървото се храни чрез своите корени. Eating, sleeping, reproduction, self-defense. То яде, спи, самозащитава се и се възпроизвежда. So in this way, countless living entities are spending their time, life after life. И така живите същества In ignorance. So this Brahman initiation uh, means to ascend to our real spiritual platform. Mm. Where the spiritual function of the living entity becomes manifest. So, this is a great opportunity for those who are receiving the second initiation. It is actually the entrance to the spiritual world. Also the first initiation. <laughs> Because the first initiation is into the chanting, uh, initiation into the chanting of Krishna's name, and the Lord is non different from His name. So the idea is that by 
receiving first initiation and chanting Hare Krishna without offenses, then one becomes qualified as a Brahmana and then can receive the second initiation. Защото чрез повтаряне на святото име човек става квалифициран за брамане и може да получи второ посвещение. So um, now we will begin first with the Achaman. Първо ще започнем с Ачаман. So the devotees will now purify themselves with water and mantra. In preparation for receiving initiation. Now, uh, those who are to be second initiated, the men, two men, should now put on their Brahman thread. How many rounds will you chant every day? Every day, 16 rounds. And on the Kadesi? Kadesi, 25. So your name is Ananda Vidya Das. What are the four regulatory principles? No eating of uh, meat, fish, ex, no intoxication, no gambling, no illicit sex. And how many rounds you will chant every day? 16 rounds. And on Ikadasi? 25 rounds. Your name is Chitra Gyadas. Yeah. <laughs> to wear for the, for the ceremony. Next, Bhaktam Laden. Negative principles. No intoxication, no 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 and how many rounds you will chant? Uh, 16 uh, rounds uh, every day uh, and Ekadashi uh, 25. Yes. So your name is Rupa Manohara Das. Yeah. Back to Svetlin. Yeah. How 
40 rounds you chant every day? Uh, uh, courtesy? Yeah. Your name is Satya Madhavadas. Satin <laughs> Dobzinka. Uh, 25 years. Yeah. So. Okay, wait. <laughs> First, I have to give you your name. Your name is Dakshineshwari David. <laughs> Bhakti in Katya. Around? 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 Your name is Kriya Shakti Devi. Yeah. And finally, <laughs> Silly Lily. Courtesy? Your name is Rasa Leela Devi. <laughs> Chai. <laughs> yes, I, I will do this now. So now, um,